uh, in comparison to this ship. That, uh oh. Nope. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, you're probably wondering, Komodo, why are you at the oil rig? Well, we have a special creation that we're going to start off with here today. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. So without further ado, let me go ahead and spawn this thing in. So it needs a custom mission. Now this thing is called the Wasp Class LHD. This is by Beta SVK. Now this thing is incredible. So let's go ahead and spawn it here. Now it's not the final version of this. It's point three. So hopefully we'll have many updates. Let's go and look down a little bit. That way if it spawns in, hopefully it doesn't crash my game. Come on, you got this. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh boy, this is always a little hard to do because I'm, I'm afraid it's going to crash. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So yes, folks, we're going to be checking out a massive aircraft carrier. Now, I don't know if this is uh, exactly an aircraft carrier. I mean, it kind of is, but I know the, uh, the creator Morley described it as like a helicopter slash landing craft uh, launch ship. But I'm pretty sure you can still probably land an aircraft on here. Now, we're not going to be doing that here today because unfortunately it is such a big creation that when you go away from it, it despawns and say if you bring a plane back or something, it's uh, it's been crashing my computer. Now, it's not a guarantee it's going to do it with everybody's computer. You might be able to come back with an airplane and land on it and that was my initial plan with this, but I realized, oh no, it's going to crash. And I wanted to test that first. I haven't really actually looked around on it. Big creations like this can sometimes be a little crazy when they spawn in and out. And yeah, it kind of was. So hopefully that gets fixed here in the future. But we're ready to check this thing out. Get it rolling here. I think it does have like a little boat on the side that we can launch. Uh, it might have something that we can fly on the inside. I'm not really sure. It would be nice if maybe uh, they can have a version of this that maybe has like an aircraft on it. That way you can take off from it. I think that would be kind of cool. All right, so, oh no, I'm gonna get lost in this. Okay, so look for the bridge. We wanna launch this thing. You know, it always amazes me that people are able to create stuff like this in Stormworks. Like, seriously, this is ridiculous. All right, so, oh, there we go, that's a ladder. That's probably gonna lead to the bridge right here, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm a little bit lost. Hold on, there we go. All right, so we should be ready to crank this thing up. Now, do keep in mind this is non-advanced. Uh, maybe in the future it'll be advanced, but right now this is just fine for me. Uh, I actually like the uh, ease of starting it up. And I don't know if the advanced creations run a little worse. I think that's maybe a thing, but uh, yeah, this runs just fine, especially once we get away from this little dock. But yeah, let's go ahead and go on a little photo tour here. That way you guys can really get down and see this thing because I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover everything. All right, so you can see the main runway here. You've got a couple spots for jets, uh, helicopters. I don't know what they store inside of these. Maybe emergency vehicles? I think this is like a fire hose system and potentially you would have emergency vehicles in here. I don't even think those open yet. Uh, you've got the, what I believe is called the superstructure. Do correct me if I'm wrong on that, but you have that over on this side, or the tower, I should say. Uh, you've got elevators here. They do look like they work, so you've got two of those. That would lead down to here, which is probably the main hangar. Hey, look, there's a vehicle. Uh, I don't wonder if that thing works or if it's maybe just for show. Uh, we'll have to go down the elevator and try that. So there should be one more section down here. And that's going to be for, like, big landing craft. Uh, you can open this back door, and you would drive one out, uh, which is really, really cool to see. So, looks like you would go back up this way. So, overall, very, very cool little area. Now, like I said, it's not finished, so you're going to see a lot of areas that are kind of empty. Maybe some doors that don't work, but... Uh, for the most part, it is looking fantastic. I really do wish we could actually uh, launch something from this. So like all things, we're going to go ahead. We will test this out against some waves. Probably uh, throw a tsunami at it because I would love to feel like what it's going to be like to be aboard this thing uh, once a big tsunami comes up. I don't know if it'll capsize. I really think this thing's so large, it would just really ride over it. 
Uh, but first, I want to go use the elevators and check out the interior real quick. Plus, there's a vehicle down there. Uh, maybe we can drive. Man, this is so awesome. Too bad this just couldn't be like a permanent launch point. Like, say you have all your Coast Guard operations from a, a ship like this. Uh, that would be awesome in career mode or just basically anything. Like, say launching missions from here. So you can get your rescue craft. You can launch like the little boat. Uh, there it is on the side there. Like, to me, that would just be so cool. Uh, but we're getting there. Maybe Stormworks is going to get optimized enough one day that we can do stuff like this. Now, question is, can I drive these? Is this... Okay. I was pretty sure these were maybe just for show, and that is definitely a thing. All right, so we have the main hangar here. How do we get down to the next area? Is it going to be maybe over here? Is this just an incomplete... No, this is a staircase. All right, so this will take you down to the bottom hangar. What you would have probably like a huge like landing craft or something down here. Uh, how do we... Actually, there's a button right there. Is that it? Okay, I think we can actually uh, open up the door down here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we go boom. Uh, oh, it's a big ramp. All right, so yeah, that opens up and you can launch craft from this thing. Do these actually... I see the markers on the walls. Do they flood these initially and then... I think that's what they do. Then they can launch like boats from here and everything else, but I do believe that's what the markers are for. Yeah, you would launch out and you'd be good to go. That is really, really awesome. All right, let's go ahead and put that back up there. So overall, I'm really excited for this craft. Uh, hopefully the creator keeps working on it because there's gonna be a lot of potential here, especially with how good it runs. All right, we gotta figure out, how do we get over to that boat? You know, I'm probably just gonna jump from the deck and use it there and then we're gonna hit this with a tsunami because why not uh this thing's so large i really do think it's just gonna power through it uh let's see where is our boat it's like right over here oh there's some spotlights and stuff uh hopefully we'll be able to control those soon uh okay this is a uh, kind of risky biscuits here but we're gonna jump off the side okay where's oh there it is okay the boat's over here all right let's go ahead and get down Oh, I think we can jump into it from here. There we go. Boom. All right, so we're on our boat. So, oh, these are just toggles. How do I how do I know what does what? Um, okay, no. Okay, that's a light. Okay, that's a that's a crank. Is there a button? Uh Let's see. I'm pretty sure this disconnects. Uh you would think it would. Um, hold on. I see lights. Uh, let me read the instructions real quick. Make sure I can deploy this thing. Uh, let's see. What about this seat? Does it have anything? Yeah, there's a potential. I might not be able to deploy this. All right. So I know this thing works, but I don't know if we can actually launch this. I'm looking for a button somewhere. Uh, there could be a winching system. You know, it might just still be a work in progress and we can't launch this little boat from here. Hold on. Let's look and see. Is there a button on the little deck here? Actually, I don't even know if you're supposed to be here. Look at that. There is no door. So I don't think this is technically a feature yet. It's just kind of on the side. Uh-oh. Um, I really hope there's a ladder to get back up on the ship. Uh, uh, look in. Uh-oh. That could be an issue. Maybe I can hit that button for the big ramp in the back. All right, I have found my way back on. So I think there's one last test. Uh, we'll probably revisit this creation uh, once uh, some more features get on it, and maybe we can launch some craft from it. I think that would be really, really cool. You know, I could mm, potentially make a custom mission with this, and then see if I can spawn another creation on top of it. That might be uh, an option in the future, too. But, let's get topside, and we're going to see what this thing does against a tsunami. Alright, we're ready to go. The winds are kicking up. Let's see how this thing holds up. Oh, boy. You know what? I don't even think it's going to move here. Like... These waves are nothing compared to this. The size of this is just so huge. Yeah, okay, we're rocking a little bit. It isn't too bad. There's our tsunami. Uh, we're going to try to ride on top of this while a tsunami hits it. Do you guys think it's going to tip over? I think it's going to ride over it. I should probably get in a secure place, by the way. Oh, yeah, that does not look good at all. Holy man. Okay, let's uh, maybe let's get up towards the top here. I think that would be the best viewing point. Uh, for the tsunami here. It's actually hard to walk on right now. Like, I'm not running near as fast as I was earlier. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and go up here. There we go. This is probably fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and go into photo mode for you guys. That way you can see it. 
That looks so epic. So yeah, it's an LHD. Uh, I keep maybe calling it just an aircraft carrier, but I think there is a, a pretty significant difference. But I do believe there is a difference there. So LHD slash aircraft carrier. We're just going to call it that. So you guys remember when I was saying something about this thing probably not capsizing? Well, this thing gets really, really sideways. Like its list is pretty bad in the high waves. I'm kind of having second thoughts here. I kind of feel like maybe potentially... This thing is going to tip with the tsunami. Oh, boy. Oh, I forgot to even look at this back here. Man, could you imagine if we had uh, real mini guns or real guns over here and, like, rockets? Oh, that'd be so awesome on the back of this. All right, so here it comes. Oh, boy. I don't know how well this is going to turn out for us. Uh, well, I'll give you guys a little better look at this from the outside, too. That is so cool. All right, here we go. It is tsunami time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, on. I think it's going to try to fight it here. Oh, buddy. That looks so incredible. It's like just considering how big the tsunami actually is uh, in comparison to this ship. That, uh oh Nope. It's not going down. It's not going to tip here. It's going to launch itself here in a second, but it's not going to tip. All right. And the tsunami has cleared it, and it's official. The aircraft carrier is in the air right now. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Nope. I want to say this thing is tsunami. Uh-oh. Hold on. Don't speak too soon, Komodo. Nope. Yep, it is definitely tsunami-proof. Wow, it handled that like a champ. Uh, I maybe would have lost a couple airplanes or helicopters from the top here. But nonetheless, this is a rather impressive creation. I do look forward uh, to checking out further updates. So definitely uh, go download this if you guys want to. All right, so for our next creation here, this is the Flak 88. This is by Crazy. I think I'm saying that right. So this is an old German uh, cannon here. I think it's 8.8 centimeters, I believe. Uh, it's actually quite impressive here. That's been recreated in Stormworks. And this is a cannon where you have to actually load up the, uh, the rounds... I'm assuming here in the back, and yeah, it's like a little system. Should push it in, and it shoots it out. Uh, question is, can I do this without a crew? <laughs> Normally, there's probably a fairly big crew here, so you got a key button. I'm assuming the key button might be the launch. So that's, okay, shooting lever is like this, so you would pull down to shoot it. Okay, so I don't know what the key is for. Uh, reload rack, open cannon hatch, and push shell. And then over here, you would have the little, uh, uh, things where we can actually rotate this thing cannon up. Okay, and then this should be a rotate here. Ooh, this is pretty cool. All right, so I think how do we grab these shells? Do we grab it from? Okay, I saw a little grab point there from the back. Oh boy, this is gonna be something. All right, so I think there's a connector on here. Actually, let's release this. Uh, reload rack. Does that turn on? I need to probably read the instructions real quick. I believe these are going to connect in here, and then we'll push it in. All right, so I think you really just put that about like that, probably a little straighter here. Hold on, see if we can kind of load that into there. Uh, let's grab this side. Okay, so kind of correct it. I think it's ready to be pushed in there, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see, open cannon hatch. Okay. Oh, was that supposed to be open to begin with? Uh, no, that should have been closed, I think. So let's go ahead and open that okay so it's already open by default let's see i don't think i can push this one in Hold on let's jump up here okay that's looking pretty good there so let's go and go push shell uh, uh oh uh, oh there it goes okay oh okay so that thing was ready to be fired oh i figured we we're gonna have to like pull the shooting lever here what if it's down does it fire still the same all right let's go ahead uh we'll go reload rack uh, let's go and go push shell off. There we go. All right, so we'll grab another shell here. This is a really creative creation. All right, so let's see if we can get a little smoother this time. Probably the gun would be down a little bit, I would assume. Actually, it probably would be up a little bit. Oh, let's go and aim the cannon up. Let's go something like that. That way it puts the little reload thing a lot closer. All right, so let's try putting another shell in here. Eh, kind of stick it in there a little bit. All right, so if I uh, push the shell now, does it still activate? Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, so now it's ready to be fired. So, hold on, let's go push. Okay, so put that up. Uh, maybe close. 
What happens when we close it now? Okay, so that needs to be back. So we'll get the push shell back. All right, so now it's actually sealed. And then we just go uh, up. No. Oh, there it goes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's awesome. So it actually pushes this all back now. So everything's ready to be reloaded. So we'll go boom. We'll grab another uh, round here. We'll go ahead. Uh, a little tricky to get these up. Uh, the grabbing system, I think, in Stormworks could be a little bit better. Or at least the carrying system. Like, there's nothing wrong with the grabbing, but uh, I kind of wish the carrying was a little bit better. So anyways, we would go reload rack. Okay, so that's pumped up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and push the shell in. Oh, actually, no. That was the uh, open cannon hatch. We're going to leave that open. Okay, push the shell. Uh-oh. Oh, it's off to the side. No, we lost the shell. Dang it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's try to make it a little bit closer, I would say. All right, push the shell again. There we go. That was a nice load. Oh, it's going to fire. Hold on, put that down. There we go. All right, so we go push shell back. Close the cannon. So it just seals it there. And then we go... All right. Should fire. Waiting for it. There it goes. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow, that is, that's a really unique creation. I don't think I've ever seen. I mean, there, I don't think there's anything like this. Like, you've seen rocket launchers, but I don't think there's anything that has a loading system like this. Like, this thing is pretty legit. I thought you guys might actually enjoy this. So, yeah, definitely go check that out. And it does come with a mission. Like, you can spawn it by your by itself, and I'm assuming it's in the, uh, the hangar, but you can also uh, uh, download a mission here that'll put it out here for you guys, and it puts all the shells out here, too. Uh, so, yeah, very, very cool. 8.8 .8 gun. Nice. All right, so for our last creation here, we have a jet boat here, and this is by Obert Spinney. I think I'm saying that right. This is the Floating Eagle, and uh, yeah, this thing looks insane. Uh, anytime you get something with a jet on the back of it, especially a boat, yeah, it, it kind of makes me wonder what's going to happen here. Is it going to fly in the air? Is it going to... I don't know, be normal. Okay, lights are on. All right, so there's a hydrofoil there. There's the engine. Fuel source for the generator. Go ahead and turn that on there. Start emergency generator. I guess we actually don't need that on. Okay, so jet engine. There we go. All right, what's that? Oh, there's a magnet connector up there. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit of throttle. Or actually, I need to do the hydrofoil. Uh, on. Can I just gas it up from here? Holy man, look at this thing. Uh, that is actually rather impressive sounding. Uh, just give it a second, let it spool up, okay. You know what? I'm gonna start the emergency generator. Alright, so give it a little throttle here. Okay, so there it goes. Alright, so this is like it's normal jet mode. Let's go ahead and throttle it up all the way. There we go. Probably don't need this generator on, it's an emergency generator. Alright, so it's uh, pretty fast, you know. Pretty little nifty boat. Uh, it actually looks insane with the jet on the front here. That, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd trust this in real life. A uh, very cool creation, though. So, yeah, obviously pretty fast, but you know what? Let's go to ludicrous mode. So let's go boom and enable hydrofoils. Uh, oh, they should be lifting up. There. Actually, no, they go down. All right, we are off the, uh, the water surface right now. It's not a whole bunch of clearance, but it did make it a whole lot faster. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this doesn't... Wait, what's that alarm for? Uh, this doesn't seem very, very safe. Uh, is there a alarm, what, for tipping? Uh, throttle available. Oh, we got a little bit more. There we go. Uh, pitch too high. Hydrofoils are enabled here. This is cool. Uh, do we have any, like, uh, maybe an oil rig or something we can fly by? I don't think we do. Huh, let's see how quick we can get to this island out here. Oh, boy. You know, surprisingly, even with really getting aggressive on the steering it doesn't feel like it's gonna tip like it fights back and I'm assuming that's uh, part of the hydrofoil doing that uh, maybe it just does that regardless of the setting but yeah this thing is ridiculously fast oh boy oh look at that wait do we think we can make it through this Hold on I'm about to try something stupid here I don't know if this goes all the way through uh oh okay uh oh, oh okay I got a little lag there oh no turn turn oh no no <laughs> No, this is... Okay, it's a jet boat. It, in theory, should be able to... Uh-oh. Um. Okay, yeah, there was a turn to the left there. Uh, I went straight. I thought maybe this would work really good. <laughs> uh, I couldn't quite make that turn, though. All right, boat, I understand. Uh, stuff's gone wrong. Oh, let me go grab another one. All right, so question is, how does this thing handle waves? 
this might be a little bit tricky, so let's go and go wind. There we go. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, waves 100% might be too high. Oh, let's go back. Uh oh. Uh, oh, I have survival on, don't I? Wow, that one, I didn't even last like 20 seconds there. Uh, and jump back up here. No, we're good. No, this is perfectly fine. All right, so maybe 100% waves might be a bit aggressive for this craft. It could have also been, maybe you shouldn't have the hydrofoils open in high waves. Whee! <laughs> All right, this is pretty awesome. So I picture anything that's got a jet on it and it's a boat, I really want to jump something. So I think maybe the best solution would be to jump a tsunami. So let's go ahead and go right at it. I don't think I'm going to deploy the hydrofoils for this. I think I'm going to, we're just going to do boat only here and just kind of see how this handles it. So obviously you see the huge wave. I want to hit this as straight as possible. Um, I had an angle here. No, this is looking pretty good. Okay, do we have any more throttle? Okay, so we are max throttle here. Oh uh, boy. Oh, there's a stabilization system uh, enabled on this thing already. All right, a nope, little over to the left, right. Uh, what's gonna happen when we clear this? I have a feeling we're gonna launch through the air. All right, here we go. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, oh, it's trying to take off on. Oh, we're gonna do a backflip over this tsunami. Uh-oh. Okay, that might have been not the greatest plan ever. Can we switch this back on, please? All right, come on, spool back up. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's gonna spool back up. Maybe we should have hit it with the hydrofoils? I mean, I guess there's only one way to figure out. All right, so this is the last attempt. We're gonna hit this with the hydrofoils down. So, uh, here we go. What is gonna happen here? Are we gonna stay a little above it now and jump it? Or is something else gonna happen? You know, this thing would probably ride it really well. All right, here we go. Oh, it flipped faster that time, hold on. But can we complete the loop? Complete the loop. Uh-oh, okay, we are now in submarine mode. This is fine. Engines have stopped. Uh, I'm dying right now. Okay, on. Can we land right side? No, wait. Wait. Okay, so does that prove that the hydrofoils is better to have that on? And we just restart the engine and we're good to go? <laughs> Gotta blow out a little water, it's fine. Oh, that is an awesome creation. Uh, everything was really awesome here today. So, what was your favorite creation at home? Uh, was it the LHD? Was it the cannon? Was it this uh, awesome jet boat here? Uh, let me know down in that comment section below. Uh, the links will be in the description if you want to download anything you see on this, today's episode. Thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Uh, I don't think it's going to start back up. Bye! <laughs>